All right, so Tay, I hear rumors around the uh, place that you haven't made an AeroPress before. The rumors are, in fact, true. Well, let's change that today. Let's make an AeroPress. Let's do it. All right, so we're kind of going to go for about 12 grams with about 200 ml of water. So let's get our coffee. Let's grind some coffee. We're going to be using the Lula Rima Timor Less. Very tasty, very beautiful, very mm. wonderful. Get your hands on it if you haven't already. Let's do it. Oh, what was that? Get your hands on it. Oh, get your hands on it. Get the mitts all over it. You gotta do it. <laughs> get it. Let's do oh, this. it smells so good. Ooh. Oh. Get a woof of that. I love coffee. Alrighty. Did you say grams? get a woof? <laughs> Everyone teases me for that. It's a habit. Alright, it's good. 12 grams of coffee. 12 grams. Now we're gonna grind it on, what did we say, a fine medium? We're going, yeah, for like the finer end of medium. Yep. Alrighty, so you're going to want to have, what temperature? Uh, we're going to go for 92. <laughs> 92, we're going to do it on 92. So guys, yeah, we're going to do the inverted method. So standard is kind of like this, chuck it on the mug and just go from there. We're going to invert it. So we're going to start off with it upside down. AeroPress have included this fun little funnel, which we can use to throw the coffee in. Lovely. Little tap tap. Just like that. Beauty. Get all the coffee. Wow. Yeah. All right, so that's done. Shake and bake. This is Get a, a nice great level. way to make a coffee on the road, eh? It is, yeah. So if you're going camping, uh, anything like that, mm. this is a great little setup. Plastic, super lightweight, super durable, easy to take around, take some ground coffee with you, and all you need to do is boil some water. So even if you do that over a campfire, happy that's days. Sweet. Happy days. Um, all right, so ready to roll. So we're gonna turn on our scales so that we can measure our water. So can I go for it now? Yeah, absolutely. Two fingers on the top, that's how the pros do it. 200 mil? 200 mil. Beautiful. And is there any technique or do I just go for it? Just go for it. Just live your best life. All righty. Wow, 200 mil is literally right to the top. Perfect. That's perfect. Exactly. All right, sweet. So we filled it right to the top. Uh, we're giving it a bit of time. Now we're going to use our Steri stick. Steri stick, I like and, that. And yeah, we're going to give it just a little stir like that, just to agitate all the coffee, make sure the water's got to all of the brew. Agitate it. I agitate like that. It. Agitate it. Some angry coffee. Make it angry. All right, then we're going to grab our meshy thing that we put at the bottom. That's the, te thing. that's the technical term. Technical term. I can't remember what I called it just before, but that's all right. I'm sure that's what AeroPress uses. Probably. Probably. Filter paper. Filter paper in the bottom of the meshy thing. Um, and then grab a little bit of hot water. Oh, and get it over the cup so you don't spill that hot water all over the table like I just did. Rookie so mistake. yeah, just wet the filter paper just a little bit. Right, and then you're gonna go filter paper on top like that. Still got a little bit of time left to go. Uh, we're aiming for kind of like that two and a half minutes um, before we start pouring. And then uh, pouring is actually gonna take us probably about 30 seconds or so. So a total brew time of around three minutes. Pretty quick. Yeah, it's pretty great. That's pretty um, quick. Yeah, so join back in a sec. <laughs> All right, should we... Um... Sorry about your flannery. How dare you? <laughs> Why are your paw? <laughs> that final that looks like a tea towel. <laughs> You're wearing a tea towel on your body. <laughs> All right, so we've hit our time. So okay. what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over onto the mug oh. and then start to press down. So will this drip if I just No, nah, you're it? all good. Really? Yeah, flip away. Jeez. Getting, you said it wouldn't drip. <laughs> <laughs> now, just plunge. Yep, plunge away. Slowly? Yep. Needs a fair bit of pressure. Oh, oh yeah, yeah wow. there we go. Look at that. Wow. This is why it takes about 30 seconds to press. Yeah. Because, yeah, you... you do need a bit of force behind it. Look at that. Wow. So this is the inverted method. So this the is inverted. not what it says on the instructions. No, it's a slightly different way to what it says on the instructions. <laughs> All right, yep, so we're done. And you know the best part about the AeroPress in terms of cleanup? is grab this guy, take that off, and then literally go to your bin and the puck pops out. Give it a quick rinse with some water. Done. 
super easy cleanup for camping setups, etc. Et et and that's a perfect size cup of coffee. It has way more viscosity than just a regular cup of, mm. cup of cup joe. Of joe. Well, if you like your coffee viscous. <laughs> If you like a if viscous you, coffee. This if you like your easy. coffee at a higher viscosity, AeroPress is for you. This is for you. How do you feel about going into the future now um, with your knowledge? With all my knowledge. Yeah. I feel pretty good. You feel confident? I feel confident. Sweet. Next time I'm out, no cellular, no nothing, rogue, yep. I will know how to make an AeroPress. Get and ben, I will be sorted. Get the U, get an AeroPress. Exactly. Get out We're there. good to go. It actually is really nice, and the coffee it makes is actually very tasty. It is? Yeah. That's why they've been around for a while, guys. Mmm. Good brew. Good brew. Nice and easy. So, there's a brewtorial for you. That's how you make an air press. Cheers. Cheers.